I want to just say four things about the conference. Um, um, and this is really for you to pray, for, for, you, for you to pray over the week. I mean, you know, some of you are coming, some of you may be able to come. We'd encourage you to come. But even if you can't, um, do, do pray for these This is very exciting. You know, it's an amazing thing that the most common command, hey, Jessica McCabe, long time no speak. And uh, hey, David, how are you doing? Anyway, um, uh, it's an amazing thing that the most common command in Scripture is not, thou must believe this, or thou must be involved in this area of social action as opposed to another, or thou can't do that because it's bad or naughty or wrong. But the most common command is actually singing. Sing, praise, proclaim, extol, exalt. All those words combined in scriptures make up the most common command in scripture. And so three months ago, when all my friends who were doing pastors' conferences and denominationals' conferences and worship conferences were all calling and going, yeah, we're not doing this thing. We're not, we're not doing our conferences this year. And there's no way you're doing yours because at that point, anybody doing a conference call saying it was like wanted. But it was like, because it was such, cause singing was so, uh, singing was so um, persona non grata at the time with obviously COVID concerns. I thought, no, we actually have to do this conference. We have to double down. If singing is the most important thing for life, then it's not just for the 25 minutes on a Sunday morning. It's not just for the 25 minutes. It's for the whole of our lives. And the reason it affects the health of all of our lives is because it is what we're made to do. It is, it is our ultimate destiny to, to, to sing praise to our, to our Lord and Redeemer. And what an amazing thing that when I think about all the things that I've thought even today, all the things that I've said today that I shouldn't have done, I think of my heart and how easily it is torn away from the things I should think about. And yet the, the Psalms say, that the Lord delights in our praises. And that phrase that, that if you're in a liturgical church, you sing, O Lord, open thou our lips and our mouths shall declare thy praise, is the conclusion of a psalm where King David is repenting of adultery. It's in, such a strange thing, isn't it? Such an amazing thing. There's somebody, by the way, there's somebody from Lisburn. Christine, how you doing? And from Belfast as well. Um, but anyway, so that's why we did this conference. We felt this is the most important. This is the mo this is so critical to our to the, the health of the Christian um, and so we start on Sunday so pray for Sunday there's it's the family leadership day it's all about family singing and there's never been a more important year for family singing um, we have got a chance with more time with our kids whether we like it or not uh, to really influence and re-establish patterns in our homes um, secondly with our with our families we have a chance to um, we have a chance to, to really, I think there's a, there's a huge emphasis here. There's a lot of mothers on the show. We want to really speak to moms. I know it's just been a really tough time. If I was from Northern Ireland, I'd say it's been a clobbering season for for moms. It's just been just so difficult. And uh, so we really want to encourage moms in this season as well. And uh, But thirdly, it's a chance to reset. It's a chance, you know, I was with uh, one of the CEOs of, of Universal Music three months ago and he said, any musician can do whatever he wants. It's never happened in our lifetime because it's COVID, you have an excuse to do what you want. So let's use the next year with our families. Life isn't gonna change massively in the next year uh, until there's vaccinations. And let's use the next year to reset with our family. For two generations, the Christian family in the West has been getting weaker all the time. And this is a chance for us to change that. We've got. We've got Johnny Erickson Tata sharing how singing transformed her life when she became a quadriplegic. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Sally Lloyd-Jones talking about um, the, the importance of story and imagination. We've got Phil Vischer who created Veggie Tales talking about how he did that and singing some of his new songs. A song about the Pentateuch, would you believe? It's crazy. A friend of ours from Disney who raised his kids both to love great art and music and be in the arts, but also to be deep believers. We got Michael W. Smith popping in to do a new duet with Kristen on, that, on his old song, Thy Word is a Lamp Unto Our Feet. When Kristen grew up in Glen Abbey in her church, her dad's church in Belfast, they used to sing that song before they studied the Bible. So we thought, let's do a new version of that for the fun of it. What a cool thing. So that's great. So there's lots of fun things happening on Sunday, but it really is a day. And then finally, if for some reason you can't make Sunday, the final ever family hymn sing is this Sunday night. Okay, the final ever family hymn sing. So we've got Canadians here, by the way. Glad there's Canadians coming in. Um, I'm glad there's people from Cleveland, Ohio, my old stomping ground. But um, anyway, make sure, if, please, please, please be part of Sing on Sunday if you can. If you can't, if you can't, join in the family hymn, Sing Sunday. It's gonna be out here in our back garden. 
crazy. I think four of our band are joining us for the night, so it's going to be a scream. And uh, and then uh, anyway, it'll, it'll be fun. And if, if not, do pray for it. Monday, Monday is the launch of the Even Song project. As I said earlier, the evening finishes with Kristen's beautiful performance from the barn. It's just and as I said, if you sign up for the conference, you get every all of these concerts for the rest of the year. So you can watch these concerts six, seven, eight, ten, twelve times. And uh, hi, someone from Cape and Ray. By the way, somebody from Cape and Ray is calling in. Oh, it's Gray. Is that Gray? Is that Gray? Are you the person who was there when I was there as a kid? Um, I think that's. I, th I bet that is. I bet that is. Anyway, Sunday is about. Sunday is about. Um, Sunday is about. About the bio. We've got Professor John Lennox, Kristen's uncle. We have got Alistair Begg. Uh, we've got some amazing testimonies. Ross Wilson, David Kim, um, others. Beautiful music, and all the music is live from the Grand Ole Opry. And I should have said on Sunday, our girls, and I'm glad, by the way, everyone, I'm having a side conversation with Greya from Cape Henry. She knew me when I was a 12 year old and pretty precocious and badly behaved. So Greya, please say nothing more. I don't need any more comments about what I was like as a 12 year old. Um, but anyway, so Monday is about how the Bible transforms our lives. And it's gonna be a great, great night. Tuesday is about, is about helping us in our churches next year. So we got some great stuff. We got all our writers. We're launching, we're on Tuesday, by the way, on Tuesday lunchtime at 12 o'clock, we're doing, um, we're doing, uh, I'm doing a seminar on hymn writing. I'm talking about our international hymn writers collective that's really launching during COVID to really build a new generation of hymn writers around the world while we have this time to create this collective and inspire young writers. So we're excited about that. Cheese and I, all our writers, Matt Papa, Matt Merker, Matt Boswell, Jordan Coffin are leading. Um, as you, many of you may know, Matt, Matt Papa and Matt Boswell did the album, His Mercy Is More. And we don't particularly care about, um, <laughs> Funny, great. Uh, we don't particularly care about awards, but it is cool to say that the Dove Awards, they've been nominated. His Mercy is More is nominated as Inspirational Album of the Year, and His Mercy is More is nominated as Inspirational Song of the Year. So lots of congratulations, everyone, to Matt Papa and Matt Boswell on their achievement there. It's a really wonderful thing. And uh, so, um, so uh, they're going to be there Tuesday night. Andrew Peterson is doing a special performance. We're doing a special interview. We're calling it a retrospective on 20 years of Behold the Lamb of God. Um, which is his wonderful Christmas show that you'll only be able to watch at Christmas this year. And, uh, but he's doing a 20 year retrospective of that on Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, we're sharing with believers from around the globe. And it's, uh, it's um, by the way, um, we've, got, we've got Michael Lowe, Michael Ramston, John Piper, and then we're finishing the night with Prayers for the Nations with David Platt. It's just gonna be a golden, a golden, a golden time. And uh, uh, do be part of that. People have asked, why is the conference called Global? Well, there's speakers, there's over 50 seminars on top of that. And there's speakers from every continent. There's musicians from every continent. Um, our foundation is involved in getting it translated into many of the languages of the world and making ex excerpts of this available all over the world for free in the, in the majority world. And also available, available, um, available in, in French and Spanish as well. Um, our friends at TGC are doing it in Spanish. If you want to go across to TGC and check that, um, and then um, what else? One more say. Yeah, I also wanted to say it's a when you watch the, most of the music was recorded at the Grand Ole Opry a month ago, and then when you watch that, you'll get to see Kristen and the band singing beautifully, but you'll get to hear thousands of voices because people from all over the world have taken their iPhones and added their voices in in solidarity with believers around the world to do this sing conference to respond to the coronavirus by with relief lifting our eyes to the one who is who is who is higher than us it's it's such a funny thing isn't it you know I, <clears throat> this morning i woke up and made a whole bunch of things to deal with and just the relief of even just reading a psalm of li i listened to some of john piper's talk on the re resurrection last year and it was such a bomb to my soul and and a kick as well which i needed which was good and uh, but anyway so we're excited finally the sing global is not just a digital conference sing global is a new um I, I guess it's a new collective of believers from around the world that's what it is it's where when you sign up you become part of this kind of i guess the largest church music whatsapp group in the world because there's there's co constant communication and conversation on that site um all the way to 31st of december you get to you get to um, watch all the talks and all the talks on sermon uh, and seminars and concerts from all the others. You, you'll have all these concerts to watch and rewatch and enjoy special songs to rewatch and enjoy special features, things that you can 
uses your devotional first thing in the morning if you're feeling a bit dry and fed up with COVID. Um, if you're last thing at night, if you want to help help you sleep, you can watch it last thing at night. Um, if you want to, if you want to just share it with your family or your or your worship group at church or your home group, we hope it can be helpful to you there. So we are we are so excited about this. Um, it has been a long summer. It's been an exhausting summer. Kristen was so tired. I wasn't supposed to tell you. She, but she was so tired about an hour ago, she just lay down and she just collapsed and fell asleep. <laughs> so, so she was hoping to be here, but she's left it to me instead. And uh, But it's been a, a long, exhausting journey for us, but we're so thrilled, we're so thankful. Um, I'm so excited for all that's going to happen this week and all that the Lord can do with our very imperfect efforts in every sense of the word. So thank you all uh, for your excitement. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you most of all for your prayers as we go into this weekend. Please, please do. Do pray for everything that's happening. Um, um, we hope many of you can join us. If you can't, do join us Sunday night for the for the final family hymn sing uh, at 7.30. It's going to be absolutely fantastic and joyful. And, uh, and hopefully it'll be something that will catapult us into a new year. Every September, we should be, we should be, we should be, we should be kicking off into a new season. Um, and it's, sometimes it's hard to have the joy, isn't it, with, with this, or this with, in this season. But we hope this will do that. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you all soon. So thank you very much, everyone. And we'll see you Sunday.